Annie and I went out on a Weebelos walkabout this morning. So we walked three miles in the sun, in the woods, and it was a lot of fun, but she was kind of tired and I wasn't sure I really wanted to be out in the sun much more. So we've decided to come to Hotel Plaza Boulevard. We've never been into any of the resorts, any of the hotels along here. Um, thought it might be fun to see what we can see. for parking and the valet kind of seemed to want to try to get an extra five dollars out of us because he kept insisting there was no guest parking when it very clearly said guest parking and when we left we saw the the gate with a place to pay so then we went to best western and they didn't want us to film so then we decided to walk over to the b resort they were lovely here's the tower at the b As you come into the lobby, there's this really fun chair. I like it a lot. Right across from the colorful chair that reminds me of Alice in Wonderland is their fountain. So this is the bee's fountain. It almost looks like you could walk into it until you realize that the base is covered, so it's not dangerous at all. <laughs> We're at the American Kitchen at the B Hotel, and we're gonna go in and check it out. They're open, so, but they said it was okay for us to come in and look. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to American Kitchen. The hours of operation, we're open at noon. At five o'clock, we change from lunch to dinner. Okay. The restaurant stays open till 10 o'clock. Okay. The bar stays open till midnight, but we also serve midnight snacks. Oh. So please stop by for a lovely beverage and amazing dinner. And before lunch, they set up the breakfast buffet really on this beautiful old Ford truck. And that should, it looks like it would be really be good. We, have, we don't see it because so, we're here in the afternoon, but I bet it's great. It's really a nice looking little restaurant. And here's the bar. At the courtyard on the way out to the pool, they have a giant chess set. Around the chess set, they have some really comfortable looking padded benches. A lot of places don't put pads on their benches. I think this is a great idea. Although on windy days, sometimes the pads get kind of blown around. Elizabeth is enjoying one of the padded benches. How are they? It's a lovely pillow. Yeah, I love it. I would, I would put this on my porch. I would love it. And I love, love, love these little ottomans. So much fun. Nice and bright. I like them. Unfortunately, on the day we arrived, the Be Indulged Spa is being uh, renovated. It'll be fun to come back and see what it looks like when they're done. They call the workout area here at the B Hotel, Be Active. 
And it really looks nice. We've got the walkers. And the bike, bike uh, machine. And some weightlifting. And back here in the back, they have ellipticals and some free weight dumbbells. And over here, they have complimentary water and towels. Uh, the towels are not complimentary. What you do with the towels after you're done is you take them over here and put them in this little receptacle that says soiled towels. Nothing gets by me. If you're having a convention, they have some really big, nice meeting rooms too. And this room is set up with tables. Here in the grand four, which only holds 94, they do have the lights on so we can see the pretty chandeliers. They're maybe a little dated, but they're fun. I like them. Here in the kids zone, they have tables, little chairs, a couple of TVs, some computer consoles with uh, games. And a foosball table. Oh, with um, pom poms instead of balls. <laughs> Safer that way. They only let 15 kids in here at a time, but it looks like they'd have a blast. <laughs> here at the B Hotel, they, the pool isn't huge, but it does have a zero entry entrance for those of you who need to just walk in or maybe have wheels. Here's one of my favorite things. The spa. It's not very big, but it's certainly big enough for me. Well, and it is bubbly and I can feel the warmth, so I think it would do the job. The rooms that are stacked two stories are spread around the pool. <laughs> and then at the entry side of the pool is the tower. The main lobby is in the bottom of this, and then it goes up and up with balconies on every room. Here's the poolside bar, and look who we found out here. Hello. I'm here. I'm everywhere. Each of the little lobby areas close to the outdoor elevator, the glass elevator, have these lovely sort of French looking chairs, all different colors. Upstairs were yellowy orange. I saw one by the main elevators that was purple. But they're just, they're, I like them, they're pretty. So one thing we've learned about coming to Hotel Plaza Boulevard, there are no crosswalks. There are lights here and there, but there are no crosswalks. So if you want to stay on one side and maybe go to a restaurant on the other side, you can move your car, except all the hotels around here charge for parking. So you just run across the road and hope, which actually has been okay. We've done it a couple times already today and it's been fine. Uh, nice thing about staying here on Hotel Plaza Boulevard is Disney does not own any of those these hotels. Um, they're all owned by different, there's a Holiday Inn, there's a Wyndham, so they're different chains. But Disney does use them as Disney hotels when it comes to things like extra magic hours or getting fast past the 60 days in advance. So even though you are on property, you are not at a Disney hotel, but you do get the perks. So that's nice. And the hotels do have a bus that takes you to the parks. It goes every 30 minutes. We saw a sign at the B for that. Um, so we don't know yet if that bus stops at all the resorts. That could make for a really full bus. But they do have a bus, complimentary, so if you're here, you don't have to take your car in and pay for Disney parking, too. So, we've been at the B, and it's been fun. It has been fun. This is a pretty hotel. It I is. really like it, and I wasn't too sure when we walked in. It is slightly dated. Some of the stuff is kind of 80s, but I don't really mind 80s. I just kind of, my, yeah. I'm a child of the 80s. Yeah, so. it, it, it's a very <laughs> contemporary looking style. Yes, it's very a lot of clean fun. Very and clean. when you come in, they piped in a really nice smell that isn't overpowering, but it just 
You go, ah. Uh, Stephanie at the front desk told us that it is white tea and thyme, and it really is very nice. It's refreshing without being cloying. It's very nice, very clean. So good job, B. Um, we just, we got to tour around. We had fun. We can't see a room because they are at 100% capacity. And Way that's what go. they're supposed to do. <laughs> Way to go, B. Congratulations. Um, so we're going to try and come back sometime and do that, but we certainly got to see the rest of it. Um, we did actually stop at the Best Western, but the manager said no filming, please. Which um, we understand. We can take no for an answer, but it, they're doing some renovation and it looks like the place really needs it so yeah it definitely looks a little the worse for wear um not like the bee not like the bee the bee is nice i mean a little dated like i said but it's bright it's clean it's fun um the pool's not big but it's pretty and the little just, restaurant is looks quite nice I'd, I'd like to come back and give it a try yeah so we may we may have to come back here sometime if you like this video give us a big thumbs up Hit that notification button. Share with your friends. Make comments. Does this look like a place you'd like to stay? Are there any other hotels around you'd like us to try the video? Understand now that we've tried the one and know they don't like it, we may not be able to do everything, but at least we got to try the B. So, with that said, I'm Art. I'm Elizabeth. And this is Our, our Life, Life on, on the, the Go. go.